Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So today we are out logging. You saw in the last video, we built three walls, but we were short some lumber for that last gable wall. So uh, it's time to get out in the property, start cutting some trees down. That's what I'm doing today. I've got a few selected trees that I want to cut down and uh, we're going to be opening up the area for the solar anyway. So I needed to cut some trees and uh, we'll get some lumber cut down, hopefully be able to frame up that next wall after I mill it up. We are kind of down to crunch time. We got to get this house built or at least dried in before the weather turns crappy on us. We've got, um, looks like rain next week for about four days. Hopefully it doesn't come, but uh, as soon, the quicker we can get the trusses on, the better. So let's get to it. If you guys have been following along, we are deep in the middle of building our house. I'm here milling up a couple logs on my Woodland Mills HM130 Max. I've got these two logs left to mill. Then we're going to go frame up our last gable wall and stand that up. So you can see behind me, it's a little later in the evening. It's after seven. We decided to work at late tonight because today was just brutally hot and it was just way too hot to work in the summer heat. So we're trying to get some stuff done in the evening time. I think I'm gonna put this cut here right directly over top of the studs just to make it more secure. Will you please handle your business? <laughs> Can you please just handle okay, your so business? Okay, so this is gonna hit uh, 64, which would be right in the middle of a stud, I think. All right, well, let's get her lined up here. Oh, we're back on the house build. We got some footage of me uh, cutting down some more trees. We're opening up an area back there uh, for a greenhouse and our solar panels. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> our solar array needed an area anyway, so I just started cutting trees down, piled up some logs, and last night I milled up all the lumber that we're gonna need to finish this wall. Yay! So And the top plate. 
Yeah, so it should finish all the framing. Yep, all the framing should be done. Should be done, and then we can get into sheeting, and we can get into hopefully getting some trusses on. Yes. Before it pours too much rain. <laughs> Anyways, we're uh, working here in the evening time because today was blazing hot, and for so, us, <laughs> yeah, for us. And so we went to the lake with the kids earlier and just splashed around in the water a little bit during the really hot part of the day and now we're back at it tonight. Yep, and decided to work in the evening time. It's about 8.30. Feels you can amazing. See it's still, oh, it feels awesome. It's I think it's 73 degrees right now. Uh -huh. And uh, so you can see we've got the top and bottom plate laid out behind us here. Maybe you can see. Top and bottom plate are laid out behind us here. I just got to cut some studs. Again, we're cutting our studs at 114 inches. We have one tiny little window in this wall and that is it. Should be a quick, easy wall Super to lay out. Super easy layout. Let's Love get it, it done. <laughs> hey guys, so uh, our friend Josh showed up to help us out this weekend. He's gonna be here uh, tomorrow. Work all day tomorrow. Day tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, so he'll help us out tomorrow. We're gonna be. Standing up this wall that we're uh, framing up right now. We're basically just cutting all the timber. We're cutting all the studs, getting it all laid out. We'll, we'll nail it all together tomorrow, stand it up, and then I need another man to help me sheet this place. Not that Vaughn can't do it, but <laughs> I like to drop nail guns on her head. So anyways, yeah, having another guy around, a little bit of muscle. So he'll be here tomorrow to help us out. Well, it's late, and you can see we've got this wall laid out, but um, we still gotta nail it together, but it's getting late, so we're gonna pop off to bed and go for it again tomorrow. All right, good morning, it's the next morning. We've got uh, our work cut out for us today. Before we get started for the day, I wanna show you something. So one of our subscribers was kind enough to send us a little package in the mail. I wanna show you this. So, <clears throat> I've told you, I've showed you guys the chest rig that I wear with my gun. It's made by Just In Case Holsters. William Sproul is the owner of that company. He's been a subscriber of ours for some time now. And look what I just got in the mail. He sent us, this is a leather gun sling. And it says Wildwood. Can you see that? Wildwood. Anyways, guys, sent me a hat. Thank you very much. We really appreciate that. This is fantastic. I've got a, I already know what rifle I'm gonna put this on. I've got a nice uh, 308. It's a beautiful gun. It's a M77 Hawkeye. And uh, I think that would go really well on that rifle. So thank you so much. I wanted to show you guys, his craftsmanship is second to none. If you guys have not, checked him out already just in case holsters uh i got a code i'll put down in the description i can't remember what the code is right now but uh, i'll put the code in the description you can get a discount through him uh order <clears throat> holsters i've got a wallet heck here's my wallet i got a super cool leather wallet it's one of those flip fold kind of opening takes uh, credit cards on both sides so uh I'm quite invested in him now, I guess. <laughs> he just makes such good products and there's stuff that, that I use anyway. So I've got a, uh, his chest rig for my gun. Now I've got the sling and the wallet. So guys, check him out. Just in case holsters, phenomenal products. All right, let's get to the build. Oh, 
crazy. All right, guys, so we got all four walls up. Yeah, the perimeter of our house. So now we're gonna go around and plumb all the walls. We're gonna do, make sure the four corners are plumbed up and then we're gonna straighten the walls out. And then once we straighten and plumb all the walls, we're gonna put the top plate on to kind of lock it all together because we did these walls in 10 foot sections. Obviously that leaves joints in that uh, top and bottom plate, which tend to have, make the wall kind of be a little bit of a snake, especially on those 50 foot walls. So the plan is to plumb the walls, straighten them out, put the top plate on, and then we're gonna jump into sheeting these things. So as much sheeting as we can get done while Josh is here, just alleviates a lot of the struggle for me and Vaughn to be lifting four bait sheets of OSB. So that's where we're at, plumbing walls. We're gonna push that wall in. We're gonna plumb that wall first. Yep. So let's undo this. Now we'll go do this wall here, right there. Likey, likey. Right? Right there, oh, it needs it. to be moved it. in I really it. bad. That's it. Hey, can you help him? Please. And I think what you're gonna need to do is, oh, out, out. No, just... Let it go out, right there. Right there? Go out. out. Out more, right there. Go ahead, anchor that one right there. Show me what you got. I've got the bedroom with its little TV. I'm about to make the couch if I find oh, the right two materials. Beds. One master bed and one little Let's kid bed. On in here. This is like two little tables. Some, this one has like little pieces of paper, mm -hmm. and this one has food. Couch and TV. Yeah, and then this one's just like a little chair for someone to sit in if they're bored and just want to sit down. Ooh. This one's like the dining picture room. Cool. This is like little pictures of landscapes and stuff, and this is another food table. Ooh, and looks pretty fancy. Light. I gotta find some more food and stuff. So sweet. That's what I've got going, and then this is for like a door. I forgot to put that one in. Oh, nice. So right there. Perfect. That's a door, and then this. I need to figure out what to do with it. I was thinking to make another couch, and but I need to find another thin piece. Mm, cool. I was thinking to also take these and swap them out for that, mm. since that one. This would be a very nice couch back. Piece okay, cool. For this. So, yeah. Awesome. Okay, so uh, we took a little dinner break here, but we're back at it. We're getting ready to do the sheeting. And we're using 716th OSB to, si to sheathe this whole building. And right now what we're gonna be working on, because we have 10 foot walls and we wanna come down and we wanna overhang this metal flashing at the bottom, it's a, basically an 11 foot run. So we're gonna go ahead and run a nice chalk line around the entire bottom of the building so that we have a nice level line where we can start uh, running our sheathing. We're taking all the screws and any kind of material that are in our way now and uh, taking off the walls, getting out of our way. And then we'll go back, run our chalk line and sheathe.
right, good morning. So we're pretty excited. You can see behind me, we're getting the sheeting put on. We've got one wall pretty much completed. We've got, what, one, three more walls to go. We've got the bottom row of sheeting all the way around the building. And uh, so we're just going for the top row. So yeah, it's pretty exciting. Get it all sheeted in, then I'll just trim the top. You can see up at the top, there's a foot of overhang at the top. I'm just gonna run a, a flush cut router bit with a router running across there. We'll cut it off at the top, but uh, we are very excited. We got it all, getting it all sheeted in. I've got the trusses, uh, local company scheduled for Wednesday to lift the trusses up and set them on the building. Today we're gonna finish up sheathing the building and I think that's about as far as we're gonna get. Got to trim off some yeah. excess. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, thank Appreciate you. it. All right, guys. Good morning. It's next day or another day, <laughs> and uh, the the project for the day is the front porch beams that we milled and the six by eight header that's going to support the far end of the trusses over the porch. So uh, we're down to crunch time for sure. We've got the walls stood up. We've sheathed the walls. We have the crane scheduled for Wednesday to pick the, the trusses. That crane is costing us $200 an hour. And so we need to be as efficient as possible. Well, we have two days. Today's Monday. We have two days to get this front header up, cut to the right size, and uh, so right now what we're doing is we've cut all the, the posts and the beam and they've dried a little bit. They've done whatever cracking they're gonna do and uh, I need to cut them down to five and a half to fit the traditional Simpson Strong type brackets that we put into the concrete pilings you saw us mill a few videos back. Whew! So <clears throat> we're back at the mill. We're gonna clean these beams up a little bit, get them down to five and a half. It really it's kind of frustrating to have to follow the industry standards of nominal lumber, but it is what it is, right? So let's get it done. All right, guys, so we finished up milling. We, we trimmed back down to a five and a half inch and, and milled, squared them up, uh, the posts that you see for behind us. Yeah, so we had six by six posts made. I didn't think about the fact that the, the strong ties that we use, the, the factory brackets are five and a half or four or five and a half inch lumber. Yep. But the good thing is, is those posts, since we, since we milled them, they've dried, they've uh, cracked, cracked, they've already. expanded. Some of them have, were, uh, had some bow in them a little bit. So we were able to clean them up, straighten them all out, and get them down to five and a half. So the plan is, like we said before, the trusses are, plan are due to be set here in two days. Two days, we got two days to get we this We have to finished. figure out how to get these posts stood up and get them cut to the right height so that the eight by header can sit on there and be even with the top plate of the house. That is what we're up to. Let's get it done. I got a plan. So what's the plan? So here's my thoughts. For doing this <clears throat> i want to bring one of the posts over and we're going to screw it in i'm going to plumb it yep right and screw it screw it in <clears throat> and i have two thought line of thoughts on how because we need to get it <clears throat> even on an even plane with the side of the house mm -hmm. we can try to find a piece of lumber that we can screw that's a straight piece of lumber we can screw to that and come out 
Yeah. And that would get us pretty close. Oh, and then the other thing for getting our height, I'm thinking the only thing I can think to do is tie a string line to the side of the house over there. In the very end corner. Measure down from the top plate down to a certain point. Mm -hmm. Tie a string there, right? Measure down to the, uh, the same distance on this side and then come across out here and someone stand there and say, okay, yep, you're right there. You know what I'm level saying? Level it? You don't need to level it. Oh, okay. If I pull a string line and there's a center line that I'm trying to trying to meet, yeah. once I meet that that mark, it's yeah. perfect out here. Okay. And then we'll mark it, right? Mm -hmm. And then whatever that distance is up, we'll measure up minus the eight, eight inch header. Yeah. So whatever that distance is, we'll go up minus eight inches, cut it okay. and hope like heck the posts we milled are long enough. Sounds like a sketchy situation. <laughs> There's our plan. I don't know if you guys caught all that, but that's the rough plan. We're really winging this. You, you want to screw this in? Yeah. Come here. Push that. Push that black button. Good job, Yeah, that's good. Okay. You need to step over here. Look at that. That one actually fits. Okay. First post. First permanently in. Yeah. Oh, that spider's alive. I got to be honest with you. Yeah, it is. If this works out, we'll have this done tomorrow, no problem. I'm saying if this works out, this was a little easier than I suspected it would be. Mm -hmm. Cross my fingers. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you can see we got all the posts up. These are the six by six posts. Well, five and a half by five and a half. The brackets. We have to move this one that way, and all. We ran a string line or a chalk line across the top. And so what we did was <clears throat> we set the far one on either side and we got it on an even plane with the house, measured how high up it needed to be and we cut it off. Then we were gonna take a string line and run from that post to the far post with all the other posts in the middle, snap a string line and it should have been one straight line. Well, when we got the string line up there, we realized that these the, there's two middle posts that were too short. I don't even know how it happened, but b bottom line is I when I milled these, I didn't know how long to mill them, so I used the logs I had, and they were about 11 feet tall. Some of them were 10 and a half. Thought that would be enough, and it wasn't. So we had extra from one of the tall ones because we had some that were 12 foot tall, and they were too tall, so we cut off a little shim. We're going to shim up a few of these posts. Actually, three of them will have shims put in them and they'll sit underneath. We'll set the post down on them and anchor everything in and we should be fine. It isn't ideal, but it'll work. Let's get it done. I got to undo all this stuff. We got to raise the posts up, stick the shims under. We're going to restretch the chalk line, snap a line, pull everything back down one more time, cut the tops off, set it all back up, and then start setting the header posts, or the header beam up there, the six by eight header beam. Alright guys, it looks like 
We got all the posts up. We got everything cut. They are permanently fixed in place. It's starting to rain a little bit. It's like 7.30 at night. It looks a little dark because of the clouds, but uh, the only thing we have left is to start setting these, the header posts. And so tomorrow's kind of a catch up day with header posts. I got to make some bird blocking, some spacers and stuff so that we're ready for trust day on Wednesday. That's going to be a little chaotic. So I think we're going to call it quits for the night. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Well, another day and we're back at it. Rained a little bit last night, but uh, today we need to get those beams up. So that's what we're doing. And uh, we've been working our butts off, huh? I'm wore out. We're wore out. <laughs> <laughs> we've been working hard. And uh, it's gotta honestly, get done. those beams right there. Uh, They're lift two by, or, <laughs> sorry, five must, bites. No, no, these posts right oh, here. Oh, these posts, yeah. I think I lifted them like five times yesterday. It was oh. horrible. Just over time, I'm so bruised, my shoulders. <laughs> Anyways, whatever, enough complaining. We got to get it done. <laughs> we got to get it done. Today is Tuesday. Trust day is tomorrow. So uh, it's crunch time. We got. I got a bunch of stuff I got to do. I got to get the gable ends prepped for the uh, gable end trusses. And like she said, we got to get these uh, headers up there, the, the six by eight the big beam. beam that go across there. It should be fairly easy, straightforward. We're going to go uh, clean off one end with the chop saw. Mark centers. Mark up there. centers of the posts and just start laying them in there. So, yeah. All right, let's get started. Here we go. these I'm gonna be I'm gonna be hurting you gonna be hurt my arm is already hurting me really bad That was a 
lot of work, but you can see Ryan got all those beams up there. Ah, really thankful for our tractor. If we didn't have that, it'd be a lot harder. Holy cow, if we didn't have that, it'd be horrible. <laughs> yeah, um, looks good, it man. It looks really nice. I, I love the post brackets that we chose. They look really good. Yeah, it looks nice. I like it. It's uh, after milling all that lumber, and once it fully dries, it's gonna check and crack, and I, I personally like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. All right. All right, good morning. Today is the day. It's trust day. It rained last night for a good portion of the night, and uh, everything's kind of wet. I haven't even looked in the building yet, but I'll bet you there's just covered in water, so I need to get the top plates laid out. So our trusses are doing a 24 on center, so I need to get all the top plates laid out. And we gotta get just prepared. It's, we got up this morning at five o'clock in the morning just uh, to prepare for everything. Our uh, crane operator and everything is supposed to be here at eight o'clock this morning. So we got a few things to clean up. We're both a little stressed out, tired. We've been really busting our butts as hard as we possibly can to try and get to this point where we're getting the trusses put on and we can get a roof put on this thing. So yeah, it's, it is the day. So let's get on with it. All right, well, here we go. Me and Vaughn have been up since five o'clock this morning getting prepped. It was a lot of work. We are already whooped from days of doing this, but we're about ready to set the first gable truss on the far end. I'm gonna quickly grab some guns, uh, framing guns, get them in place. I'm gonna have uh, myself and my friend Terry walking on the walls. And he's got a couple of employees here that's just going to be rigging up the trusses. So let the show begin. <laughs> All right, guys, well, you can see over our heads right there, we've got our trusses in. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're uh, how should I say it? They're not fully affixed. 
they're up there, mm -hmm. but there's still a bunch of what they call rat runs and uh, just uh, two by fours you need to put in there to kind of stiffen everything up. And because uh, these rafters were sitting on the ground for so long, they're we're, little. we're gonna have to just make extra sure that everything is straightened up and on um, layout. So, but they're up. We have our house. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> that was a huge job for us getting the walls yeah. up. There was just so many help. A lot of people so. helping us out. So. so thank you everybody. We appreciate it. We really do appreciate it. And uh, I guess we'll end the video here. If you guys like these kinds of videos, we're obviously you can see we're building a house. We're building a homestead here in. Toke, Alaska, off-grid. We should have our solar system here really soon. That's gonna be exciting videos, but give us a thumbs up. If you like these videos, please subscribe, yeah. and we'll, we'll see you on, on the next, next one. one. <laughs> Come all you young rounders, and a story I'll tell of the promise of heaven in the warning of hell but Take heed where you ramble Or too soon you will go